Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we made our way through the rest of Dodongo's caverns, got did some side stuff, and now we're here at Zora's Domain, home of the dudes. So, what are we going to do here? Well, of course we're going to get plot progressing. We need to do something first. Yep, there's always a first. It's the rule of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda. You always do something first. Then you can get on with it. But then before you can get on with it more, you have to do something first. So let's play the games of preemptive. So talk to this guy first. Diving game, bro. It's 20 rupees you wanna play, man. Okay, dude. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here, man. You only have a limited amount of time, bro. When you pick them all up, come back here, man, and I'll give you something very nice, dude. Alright, so I'll throw them down. Sploosh. It's up to us to collect them, so down we go. Now, if you jump in just right, you can, uh, get them on your first dot. You can get one on your first jump in, but it's, no, it's not imperative that you do this. Alright, that's two. It's a fairly easy diving game. And thank you. Only one more to go. It's next to the really loud waterfall. Oh, I missed one. It's over here. Never mind. Alrighty. Hey, congratulations, dude. I've got something very nice for you, man. Come and get it. Alright, so let's swim through the water. Let's climb back up to Mr. K Waterfall, bro. Anything useful? No. Nothing useful because we're maxed out on health, rupees, and magic. Got that magic through sexy polygons, huh? Anyways, let's go talk to Jude. So now that we have the means to talk to him, oh, well, now that we've completed this game, we can talk to him. What a graceful dive! What a graceful dive, man! Now take this, dude. This is a scale of our kind, bro. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water, man. With that, we get the silver scale. Jump into the water to press and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Uh, we're going to immediately put that to use. We're actually swimming over this way. And then going into this. Is this a warp pursuit? Lake Hylia, which kind of looks like a stomach or an organ from your body. What's this? Looks like a prize. Oh, a free bottle. I'll definitely take that. Nice. We got an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C to use it. Wait, what? Something's already inside. What could it be? It looks like a message in a bottle. Phooey, what are we going to do with a message in a bottle? Well, first of all, let's head back to Zora's Domain. There's two reasons we got that bottle. One, to get another bottle. Two, it'll let us progress. So what I'm going to have you kids do is go to the bottle and throw it on right C. So I, guess, I hope you guys like this climb. That's the Zora shot, by the way. I meant to roll. Anyways, I hope you guys like this climb because we're going to be doing it one or two more times. We're going to do it one more time after this. Uh, what an exhilarating thing. Oh, this letter is from Princess Rudo, dude. Mm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabba Jabba. That's not possible, bro. Our guardian god, Lord Jabba Jabba, would never eat my dear Princess Rudo, man. Since that stra stranger Ganondorf came here, Jabba Jabba's been a little green around the gills, bro. Evidence seems clear, man. Of course, you'll go find Rudo, dude. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabba Jabba, man. 
I'll keep this letter, dude. You take... You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully, man. Please find my dear Princess Rudo immediately, Zora. I don't know why he said it like that. Ah, that was a great cutscene. I love it. 10 out of 10. It makes the game. Now that out of the way, we can go see Lord Dabba Jabba, but I want to waste more of your guys' time. So let's go back down the waterfall, and let's head over here to these fishies. I want to collect one. Come on. Stop running from me. There we go. You got a fish. Use it with C. Something might happen. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, we got a fish. Because that's how you fish in real life. Only it were so easy. So let's set up these stairs for the second to last time. I say that because it's going to be another point where we go back up these stairs. I know, right? That's just going to be great. Alrighty, let's head behind Mr. King Zora. And let's go meet Lord Jabba Jabba. That must be him. He's a giant fish. Let's go and see if he'll eat us. Let us in. That doesn't seem to be working. Hmm, I wonder what we do. If we give him this fish we just freshly caught. Ah, that was the answer. Fish eating fish. Ah, all the four fetishes that people out there just got an erection. With that, we're inside Jabu Jabu's belly, even though we're clearly inside his mouth still. So, oh yeah, I forgot about you, Octorox. Let's actually shoot that switch from a safe, safe distance. A little higher steel. There you go. And let's ignore those Octi Rocks. Actually, while we're here, too, let's put back on our Kokiri, or Deku Shield. That'll be a lot more useful here than the Hylian one. Watch out for those jellyfish. We cannot kill them with our current equipment. And someone will comment saying, hey, you could use this. Aw, oh, thanks. So forever comments and tells me what I could do to kill them right now. Thank you. Oh my god, look at those sexy polygons. You? Who are you? I am Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here and save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Let her in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. I don't care. Anyways, I can't go home right now, and you, get out of here! Understand? And with that, she falls to her death. Should we follow her down the pit? Yeah, it's either the pit or that jellyfish. That pit sounded pretty good. So, let's talk to her again. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been in going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was a little tyke, darling. But Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was, but that's none of your business. Anyway, you, 
Go home now, understand? Sorry, chick. Sorry, toots. We have a mission. And we have jellyfish. If that's worried about me, then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I will not leave until you... until I find the thing I'm looking for. You'd better believe me. Don't worry, we believe you. So, let's pick her up. Thankfully, these doors don't require hands. Watch out for the bubbles. I know they look extremely harmless, and they are, but they'll do damage to us. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, we took damage and got a magic jar for that. Alrighty, let's see. You want to jump down. Toss her up there, because if you have her down here when you press that switch, bad things will happen. Alright, we got a gold scopilla on the wall. Let's shoot him out of existence. And let's press the switch. And with that, we get a gold scopilla token. Now, let's be quick. Ah, we just weren't fast enough. I'm pretty sure it's possible to do that in one cycle if you're quick enough. But I'm not. I hope you guys like the combat music. You're gonna probably be hearing that a lot. Oh yeah, we gotta hit that. So, let's set her down and shoot it. That was just kind of an accident. I know what I'm doing. I swear as I get hit by a bubble. Alright, come on, Prin Prin. Let's go. Ouch. What are the princesses in this Nintendo universe? Always getting captured. Yeah, that's why you want the Deku Shield. It's to take out Octoroks. Come on, I know there's a platform in this room, damn it. Wait, do I have to go under and get... No, there it is! It wasn't my imagination. You guys just didn't believe me. Alright, so let's go up. Second floor, electrified jellyfish in boxes. If I just had a map. I know there's a map around here somewhere. I'll probably miss it, don't worry. Your uncle will fail you. Alright, this time let's not fall down the holes. Also, take note of that one with the green crap coming out of it. That's going to be important later. But for now, let's move forwards. Can't go straight. Don't want to mess with them. Can't go left, so let's go this way instead. This switch. It doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone, Steel. Yeah, I know that. And you're probably not going to press it with the outer anyways. Alright, let's get her in here, set her down, and now it's our turn to have a little fun. Eat it, boy. Alright, get close. Come on. There you go, buddy. You fudge buster. Now let's get rid of these stingrays. What are they called? Pfft. Stinger. Destroy it before it flies into you. That's what I'm trying to do, sweetie. And I failed. I didn't listen. Hey! You didn't listen! Shut up, Navi! Alright, with all the stingers taken care of, we get a prize. Ooh, what could it be? A shiny treat. Most assuredly it is. With that, we get the boomerang. Press C to use it to attack distant enemies. It's basically a better slingshot at this point. So let's throw it on the right C stick, right of a uh, slingshot ammo. We're gonna keep it on just in case, I guess. So with our new prize, we can now clear some pathways up. Specifically the ones with those with the crap coming out of it. So now let's head left. Uh oh, we got a blue switch. You guys know what that means. It'll go down, but won't stay down without an object on it. 
So what we're gonna have to do is leave Princess there. Don't worry, she'll be mad at us, but it'll be worth it. Okay, he's good. That boomerang, get close, and just throw away. And with the penis cut, and with the Jabu Jabu castrated, is that the right word? Can we, like, snip it? I don't know. Someone's going to correct me in the comments for sure. Anyways, we get a dungeon map. You guys know what it does by this point. There we go. I couldn't see. I was, like, discombobulated. Alright, let's get scolded by the princess. How inconsiderate. How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one, darling. Take responsibility. Why does she sound like a bad vo badly voiced rarity? I don't know. She just does. The red slimy thing is gone, Steel. That must be because you cut the red tail. Well, no shit. Will that work with the others, too? No offense, Nintendo, but we're not stupid. Alright, it's bubble time. Ready that slingshot and get, be quick. Or you can just pop him with your face. Whatever works for you. You need, like, some minigame music going here. Ouch, right in the cherries. Just throw away. There's not much else to say. Just pop them. I wonder if Din's fire would work. Someone's gonna have to tell me that. I know the commentary hasn't been the best, but I'm really hot right now. It's very, very warm in this room. And that's throwing off my focus. Something fierce. So, what's our prize? Could you guess? It's the compass. Now we can see where we're going. We got our futuristic Hylian GPS system. Feels like my cord's loose. Yeah, it kind of is. Anyways, we're done in this side of the hallway. Well, this giant fork. Ouch. Yeah, touching them will kill them, but it'll also damage you. Yeah, I don't want to deal with you guys. So let's head this way now that it's open. What do we got in here? It shouldn't be this loose. I have to fix this before the next episode. We got the blue penis. Well, let's cut it off. Let's neuter him. Let's give it good four swipes. And off it goes. Or the hero, I swear. We're not mutilating Jabba Jabba from the inside at all. Yeah, no prizes this time, kitties. Just a new pathway. This place sounds wrong. Yeah, I'm not really trying to log on, log, lock onto them intentionally. It just is happening. So I'm trying to Z-target back into, you know, the correct direction. And we have one more thing in here, but we got some electrified muffins. So let's take care of the electrified muffins. And you just watch Santa Uzumaki. We'll get that joke. And once all its, the electrified muffins are dead, you can now neuter the man again. Ah, friendship. We're the hero. See, we're good people. Part of that, we're done being a good Samaritan. Let's leave this section of this place. So now a brand new, exciting pathway has opened up for us. Remember where that green tentacle was? Come on, kitties. It was right over here. Past Meanie Boy. Just fall down. Now, there's our gold scotillas in here, but I'm not going to deal with those. I just want to get forward. It's the spiritual stone. That's it. That's it, darling. That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there onto the platform. Anyways, we'll throw up there next time and collect our prize next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Aren't I just the worst? Let's hope we're going to get this one for free, boys.